Good morning, once again, students. Today marks the second section of our meeting on physical education, music and dance, PMD for short. And I'm presenting on unit two. <coughs> Sorry. On unit two of your course outline. The strand for discussion today is interconnections or relationships between physical education, music and dance and other disciplines. The substrands I have carved for this presentation are interdisciplinary connections one for creative arts, connections two for mathematics and science, and then the relationship between uh, PMD and write the passage or lifespan. The outline for our presentation goes like learning outcomes, learning indicators, introduction to the presentation, interdisciplinary between PMD and other disciplines, interdisciplinary connections between creative arts and PE, and then the interconnections between mathematics, science and PE, interconnections between uh, life span and physical education or write the passage. Now, the learning outcome for this presentation is explore the relationship between physical education, music, dance, and other disciplines. So students, you are to explore the relationship that do exist between physical education, music, and dance, and other disciplines or subject areas, if I should put it that way. And the learning outcomes or the learning indicators are one, recognize and demonstrate understanding of the relationships between PEMD and the creative arts through songs, dance, and physical activities in initial teacher education institutions and basic school settings. And then recognize and demonstrate understanding of the interconnections between PEMD, mathematics, and science through songs and physical activities and dance. And finally, recognize and demonstrate understanding of the interconnections between PEMD and lifespan activities through songs, physical activities, and dance. Now for the introduction. It is clear and now a powerful drawing deep emotions and memories buried in the thick of things but most of all, music is a stimulant for the mind, body, and soul. Physical education teachers have implemented music and dance into their curricula in a number of creative, fun ways to get kids or children moving and active. And for that matter, music and movement are the elements that are of great importance and role in teaching physical education. These elements are inseparable part of the dance, traditional games, and rhythmic gymnastics. According to the influence they have on the development of psychological and physical abilities of students, they have an important and prominent place in the general curricula and uh, especially in the physical education curriculum. Now, the objective of the existence of these interconnected activities is to raise the general cultural level, the impact on the aesthetic taste, developing dance, preferences, solidarity, and belonging sense, development, and respecting their abilities and skills of each other with a variety of contents and with the same aim to promote the movement and play with children's creativity and to connect with other school subjects. And for that matter, we cannot live in isolation for that matter, it's physical education that oh, we are PE, so we are alone. We are music, we are alone. No. We need to interconnect with other subject areas so that the benefits thereof in each area will be integrated for the benefit of the child whom we are going to teach. 
So the need for you to comprehend or assimilate the information given you are today so that you know when and where to commend and to use the various subject areas called integrated approach to teach. The lines between different fields of study are growing ever more vague and blur. And today, we understand that not only is it possible to blend fields of study together, it is in the best interest of the child to do so. Remember in teaching, the child is always at the center of everything. So therefore, whatever you do is to the interest of the child. And therefore, when we blend these various subject areas and then we holistically present to the child's growth and development, it is to the benefit of the child and you, not you, the presenter or the facilitator. Now, increased connections between fields of knowledge in the child's mind reinforce all of the associated fields. And uh, in physical education, communication occurs both verbally and bodily. That is said by Queen, Queen Esther and friends in 2014. And in order to adopt new ways of thinking, reasoning, and acting, according to Sajo in 2009. So the need always to think ahead of time by way of putting ideas from various subject areas together and making do with. So that you don't just sit and then think, oh, mathematics is this way. So mathematics alone, you don't apply it in any other fields. Think through, use it, apply it, and it will work to the benefit of your life and the children that you're going to teach. According to Love, 1988, for example, emphasizes that students think in groups where thinking is seen as a collective process. When students communicate, they represent the problem for themselves and for others. Together, they try to make sense of the situation by trying, testing, and rejecting different options. And in the end, at best, manage to come up with what they are looking for. And this was said by Sajo in 2003, uh, 2009, sorry. And in this endeavor, the students co-talk, that's per Sergio's statement, the students or learners, they co-talk with each other, they co-act with each other, and they co-listen with each other, as well as with the dance, dance games. Now, the lines between different fields of study are growing more and more, as I said initially, vague and blur. Today, we understand that not only is it possible to blend fields of study together, it is in the best interest of the child, as I initially indicated in the introduction. Increased connections between fields of knowledge in the child's mind reinforce all of the associated fields. Giving students an understanding of the life and physical sciences that stand behind physical education can greatly reinforce the learning experience for children. Now, as I progress, I will come to the specific areas whereby you see the need to blend physical education and then other subject areas. For example, physical education encourages students to engage in movement experiences that promotes and supports the development of physical and social skills. And then two, it fosters critical thinking and action and enables students to understand the role and sig significance of physical activity for individuals and then the society at large. Due to its positive impact on the bio psychosocial status of children, physical education is connected with applied scientific disciplines in the field of social and natural sciences. It aims to establish the regularity of connection with the appropriate educational and scientific fields 
and forms of education and is thus united with the school practice. In this way, instructional contents become part of the connectivity criteria. Did you hear me? I said, in this way, instructional contents become part of the connectivity criteria. Now, given that the primary means of physical education is physical activity, its structural elements are one, spatial, temporal, and physiological energy, present other criteria of connection with other school subjects. And the established connection between physical education and other subjects shows that a model for interact, integrated teaching needs to be developed. What? A model for integrated teaching needs to be developed so that it will serve as a yastic for which each and every one will follow to present in any field of study. And the presented models of connection allow for an integrated teaching of active, motivated, and unsolicited students who explore and conceive a comprehensive and integrated reality capable of transferring knowledge to new thematic assemblies and experiential learning in a variety of social situations. Now, let us specifically look at the interconnections between visual and performing arts, the connection between physical education, music and dance, and then visual and performing arts. There is a great deal of overlap between movement activities and visual and performing arts. Whether it is the strenuous work of painting, a large canvas, or the more obvious artistic activities of gymnastics or martial arts. Helping students to see the connections between these two disciplines can stimulate crossovers from one to the other. Helping children to broaden their world horizon. Now, let us briefly look at this video clip and uh, you will appreciate what I'm talking about. It goes along with what? Music. And this music energizes the women that are, you're going to see very soon. It, 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 it makes their performance level go down. And you can see they are very fantastic movement. Revenic in nature and it again shaping them. It gives them strength. Even in the space of time. So these women are actively performing because of the support they are getting from the background or behind the music of the woman. So fantastic movement, rhythmic in nature, so smooth, and it is enhancing their house status. And uh, to be worthy, you need to be hungry. Without the house, wealth will be difficult to come back. You will get little money you get, you spend all on, the, on what? Right. But here we are doing preventive medicine alongside music and dance. So they are enjoying themselves while they are improving their health features. So students, while you are at home, in the midst of COVID-19, you're practicing these things to enhance your immune system. So the immune system will be able to battle any other ailment that will come close to you and you'll be free and you'll be an integrated individual in the environment or in the society where you find yourself. So physical education and other subject areas are very important battles that you cannot do away with. So this music and dance alongside performing arts integrated together.
All right, let's continue with the presentation. <laughs> now, we are still on the creative arts and the physical education. Let's now draw more on the physical education aspect and then we will blend it alongside. In physical education, uh, the focus is on movement and its contribution to the development of individuals and communities. So, as you saw in the video, the women were moving alongside the music that played in the background and it enhances their health and uh, their growth psychologically, socially, and spiritually. And uh, there will be individuals who will live in the communities that will enhance growth and development. And again, by learning in, through, and about movement, students gain an understanding that movement is integral to human expression. Movement is integral to human expression and that it can contribute to people's pleasure and enhance their lives. So with a movement, it will be very, very difficult for you to express yourself. Even when you are angry, your arm movement will determine the, the gravity of your anger or the severity of your anger. So movement is very, very important in whatever we do as humans, right? And uh, we are saying that it helps as in expressing ourselves that it can contribute to people's pleasure and enhance their lives. They learn to understand, appreciate, and move their bodies, relate positively to others, and demonstrate constructive attitudes and values. So, with our movement, it will be very difficult for us as humans to express ourselves, to demonstrate positive attitude towards others. And this learning takes place as they engage in play games. As you watch the video, they were learning, they were developing, they were building their systems. Children learn by play, they learn through games, and they learn through sport exercises, recreation, adventure, and expressive movement in diverse physical and social environments. Students, I wouldn't want to worry you much, but I want you to concentrate and assimilate the information here. Go practicalize it. Use it, and then you will realize what I'm talking about here. Physical education encourages students to engage in movement experiences that promote and support the development of physical and social skills. Your ability to interact with others in the society, your ability to live in harmony, comes about as a result of proper development of your physical body and thinking through. It fosters critical thinking and action and enables students to understand the role and significance of physical activity for individuals and the society in which they live. Now, the interdisciplinary education we've been talking about here is just a process ongoing in which two or more subject areas are integrated with the goal of fostering enhanced learning in each subject area. The disciplines may be related through a central theme, issue, problem, process, topic, uh, today we call it strand or experience. And this was said uh, by Jacobs in 1989. So take notice of that. Now, life and physical sciences. What has it got to do with physical education? Mathematics and science. Has it got any special link? Now, giving students an understanding of the life and physical sciences that stand behind physical education can greatly reinforce the learning experience for children. For example, the physics of force. You'll be learning physics right from basic school through to secondary school and now to the tertiary level here. The principles of force and the leverage can give children insight into the mechanics of gymnastic activities. Having knowledge in force can help children who are into mechanics of gymnastics activities to perform better. Again, let's look at biology. The biology of carbohydrates turning into fuel for the muscles and protein used to rebuild muscle tissues can greatly insight into the study of what? Nutrition. So, 
when you go to food and nutrition and uh, you have this knowledge that food and nutrition, the protein will help build the muscle tissues and help repair the worn out tissues in the system. And physical education is making do with these nutrients right there in your body in performing movement skills. And you having this knowledge, you will not ignore that physical education is standing somewhere while food and nutrition is also sitting somewhere thinking alone. No. You need to blend them. Biology is part of physical education. Physics is part of physical education. When you go there, biomechanics, when they give you a seat like this, and it has only one leg, I should be able to sit on it with my knowledge in biomechanics. I should be able to position myself such that the seat will not put me down. And it's all about the knowledge that I've acquired in what? Biomechanics. In physical education. That goes with physical or physics. The forces, applied forces and those things. And then the leverage. So, you now appreciate the fact that we move alongside all other subjects in developing our cells holistically. Now let us look at the link between physical education and social sciences. Examination of the styles of interaction within and between groups in competitive team-based games and sports. Example, soccer, dodgeball, netball, handball, and so on and so forth. There is always interaction between groups in competitive team-based activities. And how do they respond in a humane way so that there is no chaos? Interactions between children in competitive individual activities. Example, running a race, 100 meters, 200 meters. How do they do it? He's running in his or her lane. If he moves into another person's lane, he'll be disqualified. Because he has what? Disobeyed the rules and regulations governing that competition. So the child will push that one into society. When rules and regulations are given there, they will obey it. Constitutional wise, they will obey it. Right? Interactions between children in the competitive individual activities. And then interactions between children engaging in personal achievement, individual activities. Example. Gymnastics training, where no one is competing with another, is competing with himself. And then again, helping children understand concepts of social organization and interaction. And helps them to draw parallels with physical education experiences and other contexts. Let us now look at health science and physical activity. Children who are taught the relationship between physical activity and health, not just in general, oh, exercise is good for you, sort of way, no, but in a more detailed manner. Example, aerobic fitness training stimulates the cardiovascular what, system. The video you saw was an example of what? A, uh, aerobic fitness training. And the purpose of that, basic or primary, is to enhance the muscles in the heart. That is what I have indicated there as cardiovascular system. How the heart responds to vigorous activities and then be able to release oxygenated blood to all parts of the body for your body to function well. Strengthening the heart and increasing the yield of oxygen per heartbeat. Boom! How much oxygen content is in the blood which has been released. People who are active physically, when they pump out once, it goes with enough, sufficient amount of oxygen to distribute to all parts of the body. And they relax without strenuous activities. Right? And people who are not sedentary life, they easily get cholesterol accumulated and then they get the veins and the arteries blocked. And when it happens so, within a short time, least activity, you see them stressed up. And then they pant for air, for oxygen, just to energize them, to burn the system for them to perform well. So you need 
physical education alongside all other areas so that you live a holistic life. You can live with illness and then be learning the sciences, the mathematics, and all the other subject areas. But if, it, if you are healthy, you have a sound mind and you can assimilate whatever you are facilitators or your teachers will present to you. So there's the need for us to be conscious of these physical activities and movements and then be able to practice it without necessarily making it what a punishment or making it look like oh where they are a type of thing no now more likely to look to fitness training as a potential response to health problems people who are conscious of this cardiovascular i'm talking about they are more conscious to fitness training and to help alleviate most of the health challenges they encounter. Let us look at mathematics and language arts. These two fields are more peripherally connected to physical education. However, the connections here are more in the use of mathematics and language arts as mediums to better quantify and communicate achievements. Right? However, numeracy and literacy are better enhanced during interactions with the learners on the field of play through counting of various episodes of what activities again mathematical concepts are also applied in the construction of athletic over and the various sectors of all field events it will surprise you to know that when a court of netball is being constructed the principle of uh, the hypotenuse and then the adjacent and all those things are applied in getting the right angle triangle that we need thereof to get a, a better uh, field of play. When you go to the uh, athletic over, we apply equations, mathematical equations, before you can construct that. So you cannot do without other subject areas. And finally, let us look at the interdisciplinary connection Number three, write the passage or lifespan. Here I have, abbrevi I have shortened the points for discussion. I'm not going to give you detailed information here. The point number one I want you to know is naming ceremony. When a child is born, for sure the child will be named. And what are the processes? In naming ceremony, we go along with music. Is it not, is it not true? And the music goes along with joy, merrymaking. People become happy and then they dance. They drink and <laughs> all forms of activities goes on. And it goes along with movement. Even for an elderly man to put water in the mouth of the, uh, the, the baby goes with movement of the fingers and the hand. And if the fingers, the hands are stiff, how will you be able to move? You need flexibility of the body system to do that. So, naming ceremony cannot be done without movement. It goes along with physical movement, physical activity. When the child is born and named, it goes through the process, aging, puberty, adolescence, and so on and so forth. When they read the puberty stage, you know in our country, we have various ceremonies we perform for them, and I've just selected two of such uh, ceremonies. We have Bragro, Depo, for Krobos, etc., etc. And these are strenuous activities performed. Other areas, they have special dance they, 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 they perform for the people there. And when you go, it's so fantastic. And it's about the body movement. Helping them to grow holistically. Helping them to be spiritually, emotionally apt. And when this Bragro and the Depo and the, all the others are performed, then they grow, they, they, they reach maturity. What again? Marriage ceremony. Being it traditional or the ordinance, what? Marriage. They all go along with music, dance, and so on and so forth. And these work together in the body system and uh, when you get married, you give ever and longer, and then come in is finally you what? You will die. And when you die, what happens in our society? Funeral ceremony. 
So there is an interconnection. When you go to funerals, you see what happens there. So we go, and then people enjoy. Even today, children, when the funeral is over, you go and then you see them, and then they dance, they dance, they sweat. In Penifoni, you know, some of you free to work. Fifre na yatini ni yina ane e yen huadru. So all these things are interconnected with each other, and they help us to develop and become holistic and optimal in the society where we perform. On that note, I want to pause here today and uh, expect your questions and comments on the Google comment section, Google Classroom. And uh, the link will also be forwarded to you so that you see all the video aspect of today's presentation. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, you are most welcome. Don't be hesitant to ask questions. God bless you all. Stay safe away from COVID-19 for it is real. God bless you. <music>